Hey, what is up, guys? It's Electric Paul 61 here, and uh, I'm sorry about the wait on this video, guys. I uh, took the first take of this video, recorded it, you know, everything was good. Went to edit it, and you know, it just I wasn't feeling it. It was it was like 25 minutes long, and even with all the edits, I would have really only been able to get it down to like 18 minutes at the least. And I didn't think I explained stuff very well. I kind of rambled on and on and on. And I didn't like it at all, so I decided, you know what, we're going to scrap it, start fresh, and we're going to do an entirely new take. I got notes printed out here to my left, and let's hop right into it. So, in this episode, I promised that we would go over left to right movement, specifically not teleporting, you know, to the top of the platform like this whenever we're hopping around, right? We don't want to do that. See how we teleport? That doesn't look good. It doesn't look like a wall. It looks like it's a teleporter, which is exactly the opposite of what we want that wall to do. So what we need to do is we need to implement something that stops us from moving to the left or the right whenever we are touching this wall. Furthermore, I notice a mini bug that we have when you jump from underneath the block. As you can see, we go kind of into the block. That's a real quick fix, guys. We just got to do a few lines of code there, and we'll fix that. But we'll get to that at the end of the video. To start, we're going to fix that left-to-right movement and teleportation bug. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to hop right into this jumper class here, and we're going to make a new method. In fact, we're going to make two new methods. We're going to make public boolean can move left and public boolean can move right. For now we're going to comment out can move right because we're going to start with just the left side. We'll fix, we'll get the right side in a second, but for now we're going to start on the left side only. So this is going to look almost identical to the did bump head and is on solid ground methods, only it's going to be side to side. It's not going to be top and bottom corners that we're checking. So instead of checking these two corners for the top and these two corners for the bottom, we're going to be checking these two corners on the left and these two for the right. So the first thing we're going to do since we're on the left side is we need to check negative x offset top and bottom, right? Because negative is left, positive is right. We need to check the negative x offset, positive, and negative y offset. And actually I had those backwards. Positive and negative is like that. So let's hop into it. Let's copy this did bump head right here. Control C, Control V. Let's rename these variables here to something more appropriate. Can move left, can move left, and can move left. All right, let's make sure that still works. Let's hit compile. All right, everything is good. So let's go into changing these offsets here, right? Because everything else can stay the same. Our image width and height doesn't do anything different. And the general principle of what we're checking here doesn't actually change at all. All we're doing is changing our offsets. So like I said, we're going to be checking two negative x offsets right here. So on the first one, we're already checking a negative offset. On the second one, though, we're checking a positive. So let's just throw a negative in there. So now we're checking the left side for both of our get one object at offset methods. However, on our y offset here, currently we're checking the negative offset the same time, two times. So what that looks like is that's the same as checking this corner twice. We need to check this bottom corner instead. So what we're going to do is here on this bottom method, we're going to get rid of that negative. So now instead of checking the top corner twice, we're going to check the top and the bottom corner at the same time. So let's go ahead and compile. No errors. Looking good. All right. So this method is done. We are all done with can move left. So let's add it to our code up here, right? So we actually check can we move left. Because right now all we're doing is looking, all right, is the left arrow key down? If so, let's take a mini step here. But now we also need to check, hey, can I also move left, right? So let's add the ampersands and can move left. All right, so when we compile, we, ooh, hold on, I almost forgot this. We got to make one more change really quick. Down here, by default, can move left is false, right? Because we copied it from up here. We actually want this to be true to start, right? Because we only want to not be able to move left when we're touching the platform, right? When we're not touching the platform, we want to be able to move left. 
Also, we want to change this to false because when we are touching the platform, we want to not be able to move. So let's go and give this a test. Let's jump down here. And what do you know? We still teleport. Huh. Not only that, I'm pressing the left arrow key and we can't move. If I jump, we go fine. But whenever we're on the platform, it's like we can't move. So this either doesn't work at all or we have a bug in our code. Spoiler alert, we have a bug in our code that needs fixed. So what could be wrong right here? It looks like we have everything right, right? We're checking the left side, top and bottom corners. So what's wrong? Well, we're checking this bottom corner here, right? But there's another method that also checks this bottom corner. It's the is in solid ground method right here. It's also checking this bottom corner, right? Negative 2, positive 2 is right here. Negative 2, positive 2. So we need to actually add a buffer to the can move left. We need to check instead of right on this corner, we need to check outside of this corner, right? So let's make a quick change. We're going to check image width divided by negative 2 plus a buffer of about 3 pixels, right? Because that's what our step size is. So let's go ahead and give that a test. And what do you know? Huh, we still can't move. Well, that's a problem. But hey, look at that. We don't go through the block anymore. We don't teleport. So we got one problem fixed, but it seems like we still have another problem. What's going on here? Well, remember, we're checking the bottom left corner. However, in this method here, we're also checking the bottom left corner as well. And we're always one pixel in the ground, remember? Right here, after we move ourselves out of the ground, we deliberately set ourselves one pixel back into the ground. So that way, the game always knows, hey, you're on solid ground right? So we're always one pixel deep in the ground, which means that this bottom left corner is also going to be triggered, which means we can't move left. So we need to, in addition to having a buffer to the left, we also need to bump it up a little bit. We can't check the very bottom left corner. We need to check just slightly above the bottom left corner. So what we need to do here in our y axis is we need to just change this to a minus one. So instead of dividing by 2 and leaving it at that, we're going to divide by 2 and then move one pixel up. So when we give that a quick test, we fall down, we can move, happy things are going on, and look at that, we don't teleport to the top of the wall. Beautiful, everything is great. So now all we need to do is copy it to the right side, and we will be good to go on our lateral movement. So let's go ahead and give this a copy here, control C, get rid of these comments and control V. Alright, let's compile. Make some changes to the offsets, right? Because currently we're checking the left side again. So all we need to do is just flip the signs for our X offsets, right? So turn these into positive and turn these into positives, right? Because now instead of checking the negative side, we're going to check the positive side, which is on the right. And in addition to having an extra negative offset, we're going to have an extra positive offset to the right. So now whenever we compile that, no errors. All right, let's implement it to our can move right over here. And can move right. Compile. Everything's looking good. Can we move around? Yes, we can. And when we fall down here, no teleporting. How about that? All righty, so we fixed our big problem of not being able to bump into walls without teleporting. But we still have this guy down here that causes us some problems. We go into the block and we kind of get stuck there, right? As you can see, our fin goes into the block and that's no good. We don't want that. We want to have a solid barrier on the bottom of the block. So how are we going to fix this? What we're going to do is we're going to go into our falling method because that controls our vertical here. And right here, much like we did with this, right? Remember it back in episode, I think, two, we were falling down, right? and we would get stuck in the ground, right? And we'd have to correct that by having a while loop to bring us back up to the top, right? We're going to do the exact same thing, but in the opposite direction, right? So we're going to have a while loop, while did bump head, what are we going to do? So while did bump head, we're going to do the exact same thing that we did here with the is on solid ground in the opposite direction. So we're going to set our location, to our x coordinate, we're not going to touch that. 
and our y coordinate is going to do plus 1. So that way we're moving down instead of moving up. Now, unlike with this is on solid ground, we don't need to move ourselves back 1 for the reason being that whenever we bump our head, right, and we fall back down, we don't want to move back up. We don't actually care about being one pixel deep in this block. We don't want to touch that block whatsoever. So we don't need to worry about that final correction after the while loop. We can just leave it how it is right now. So when we go ahead and give this a little test, right, our side still works. And when we jump, as you can see, if you look really closely, the dolphin moves like maybe one or two pixels upwards. But that's it. He doesn't go into the block at all, which is exactly what we want. So right now, we have a perfectly functioning block. It's beautiful. Everything is great. And it looks like we are completely bug-free. Right? 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 You're waiting for me to point out some magical bug that we have, right? Well, you'd be wrong. We really truly are bug-free. We have fixed everything in our code, and there is no reason why we should be going inside of this block whatsoever. However, there is still one quick change I want to make to our code, and this is something that we did earlier in episode 2. Notice here how we have a private final integer of gravity being 1. So that way whenever we're down here, right, we just have to access it by saying gravity, right? Where is it? Gravity, 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 gravity. For real, where is it? So down here, whenever we say velocity plus equals gravity, if we want to change gravity, or I say we go to the moon where gravity is less, we just got to change this. We don't have to change every single instance of the gravity. We just got to change it one time, and it updates everywhere. Likewise, if we want to make our dolphin run faster side to side, instead of having to go through and change every single one of these threes and every other three that we add, we can just make a variable up here, call it private final int step, and set that equal to 3, and then go through here to all of these 3's. We got them up here. Set this to step. Set this to step. And down here, set these buffers to the step size as well. Right? So now, it's going to function exactly the same if we compile, run. Everything works exactly as we want it to. Nothing is different, except now, if we want our dolphin to move faster, right, I just have to go up here, set this 1, 3 to something like 7, and all of a sudden, our dolphin just turned into Usain Bolt. Look at him go. He's such a beast, isn't he? It's beautiful. Alrighty. So now that we have fixed that, we are entirely bug free and ready to move on to another feature altogether. In our last video, we talked about adding something like ladders into the game. I believe somebody commented about ladders. And I don't think I was able to comment back and respond because I haven't actually done ladders before. This is something I haven't done yet. So, what I want to do for the next video is do a bit of research into how to climb ladders. And then we're going to try to implement that in our next one. In the meantime, though, Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe so you guys are prepared for the next video. Spoiler alert, probably going to be like two months or so. I was only able to get this out because of break in school, but now that school's starting back up, I get pretty busy again. Sorry about that, guys. Anywho, go ahead and comment any suggestions or questions, because I tried to move a little quicker through this video. I might have skipped over some details. If you've any questions at all, seriously guys, don't be afraid to drop me a comment. I will try to get back to you. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are so awesome. Bye-bye.